How we doing folks? Your host Moose here on the Pit Panthers Football Network as the UMass Minutemen come to town to open the 2018 football season for your Pitt Panthers. It's the first meeting ever between these two programs and one that your Panthers are favored to come away victorious in. It's the opening start for Kenny Pickett, his first career start, the sophomore quarterback taking over the reins. We'll see what he can do as your Pitt Panthers take on UMass next on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. And so we welcome you to Heinz Field for the opening kickoff of your Pitt Panthers football season. Maurice French is back to receive the opening kick. He's going to take it out of the end zone, clear his way up to about the 19-yard line as he looks to replace Quadri Henderson and, you know, Many returns to come from French, so hopefully improvement in that department. Quadri Olison will be the starting running back for your Pitt Panthers with Kenny Pickett under center, and that is an inauspicious start for the Panthers. They have to take a timeout on their opening play. They've had the entire offseason to decide what the first play they want to run from scrimmage is, and they have to call a timeout as they're not ready for it. But Olison's going to get the handoff, and he knifes his way forward for about seven yards to open the season, and the Pitt Panthers 2018 football season is underway. Kenny Pickett, the sophomore quarterback, in the shotgun here. Second and three is going to go read option. He gets out into space, and it's a good solid seven or eight yard pickup for Pickett. He gets down, and that's a Panthers first down. I formation for Pickett, who's got, you know, a lot of shoes to, you know, step up and fill. There's word that. You know, he's the next coming of Dan Marino. A number of fantastic quarterbacks have come through this Pitt Panthers program that have gone on to the NFL. Rod Rutherford, Tyler Palco, of course, Dan Marino is the most notable. And Kenny Pickett's first pass from scrimmage this season is a 24-yard catch over the middle. Finds Rafael Arujo Lopes, the redshirt senior receiver. Pickett hits him, and that's 24 yards on the catch and run. So very promising. That's Olison on the handoff out of the shotgun. Picks up three. And Kenny Pickett leading the Panthers into UMass territory here on their opening drive of the season. That's Aaron Matthews shifting in motion. Pickett's going to be forced to roll out to his left. He's just going to dump it off to Matthews, who takes a big hit and all that for just a single yard. So the Panthers now set up a third and six. So pick in the shotgun. He's got a tight bunch formation to his right with Quadri Olsen as the side guard. Drops back. Plenty of time to step and throw and Arujo Lopes drops it. Fourth and six for the Panthers, but Pat Narduzzi is not messing around. They're on the 39-yard line. It's kind of that no-man land territory, and they're going to go for it. Pick it in the shock, and he rolls out to his right. He's got time over the middle. Looks, he finds Trey Tipton, and that's a first down. 11-yard catch for the junior receiver, Trey Tipton. He pulls it in, and it's a Pitt Panthers first down. They keep the chains moving. Read option now for Pickett as he gets out to his left-hand side, gets about nine, and slides down for a good Good, solid game. That's where Pickett's been very good. He can use his legs well, but he has a really strong arm, and that allows him to be dangerous both in open space with the football. He can roll out and make throws for the Panthers, and he's comfortable sitting in the pocket as well. That's Darren Hall picking up nine for the Panthers, his first carry of the young season. He had a fantastic end to the campaign, a 200-yard performance against Duke, 150 against Texas and a Texas A&M in the bowl game. Very solid season. He does pick up 10 there, setting up second and in inches for the the Panthers now on the one yard line. Pickett, it's on a little bit of a kind of an end around reverse. That's Maurice French, and he's into the end zone for the Pitt Panthers touchdown. And just like that, the Panthers take a 7 0 lead. That's French on the end around, and he's into the end zone. He's one of the players that's going to be expected to kind of replace Quadri Henderson, who, of course, went to the NFL draft, uh, picked up as an undrafted free agent, and then, you know, wait and see if he's able to latch onto an NFL roster. But it's a great return now for UMass going the other way. That's Quadri Henderson asks as uh, the returner there gets able to get to about the pit 40, but it looks like it's coming back. There's some laundry on the field, and that's a clipping penalty on Keith Perry. And it's going to negate that entire UMass return, bring the ball all the way back to their 27-yard line. And the Panthers are thanking their lucky stars for that infraction as UMass is now going to have to go 
back to the length of the field rather than having fantastic field position for their opening drive of this season. Andrew Ford, the quarterback, drops back, passes, slings out wide. That's Chester Moore pulling in. He's brought down by Salim Brightwell after a single-yard game. Ford now hands it off to Marquise Young, who's going to be brought down, kind of a gang tackle there. It was Brightwell and Elijah Zeiss in on the tackle. Zeiss. Idowu Brightwell, a very strong linebacking core for the Panthers. Uh, one of the strongest in the country, you'd have to argue. So three players who are very solid. A couple of seniors in Idowu and Zeiss. And the Panthers able to make a stop there. It's Dwayne Hendricks forcing the uh, three and out for UMass. So after a punt, it's Quadri Olison up the middle. Five-yard carry for the senior running back. He swaps out now for the other Panthers senior star running back. It's Darren Hall who's going to take the handoff up the middle from Kenny Pickett. Hall kind of stumbles his way forward for about four, setting up a short third and one from the Panthers from their own 40-yard line. Pickett, he's got Olison behind him, two tight ends to the right-hand side, and that's Olison finds a nice hole, speeds his way in there, picks up seven, and that's a Panthers first down. So the running game, moving the ball methodically forward here. They're mixing it up very well. Read option, a few passes thrown in here, and there. Pickett's actually going to drop back the pass now. He rolls out to his right, throws, and he leads his man. That was uh, Aaron Matthews he was looking for. Just led his receiver too much in its second and ten, where Darren Hall takes the ball on a counter, only picks up a single yard, and it's going to be third and nine now for the Panthers. Pickett under center. Two receivers out to his left-hand side. Two tight end set with Hall as the lone setback. Pickett rolls out. He's got a ton of room. He bails out. I almost wonder if it was a designed run. Pickett didn't even take time to go through his prog progression. Pocket collapse, but he was out of there in a hurry. Picks up first down yardage for the Panthers. He hands it off now. It's Quadri Olsen. Big hole up the middle, and Olsen fights his way forward for about nine, setting up second and one from the 28 or 29 yard line five wide set for Pickett now with a minute to play here in the opening quarter he drops back to pass rolls out to his right yet again and he just scrambles for the first down three yard pickup for Kenny Pickett and you want to see him kind of sit back go through his progressions a little bit more but it's nice to know he has the capability with his legs to make something happen if nothing's available Pickett that's what we're talking about he sits back takes a pressure might have taken a hit there did Pickett but he gets the throw off finds Maurice French who makes a diving grab for about 20 yards and gets the Panthers down to about the five yard line setting up first and goal where the handoff is to Darren Hall he fights his way forward to about the three yard line and it's gonna be second goal for the Panthers but Pickett did a great job sitting back there finding his man and able to get a big gain for the Panthers as they are knocking on the doorstep at the end of the first quarter here seven nothing in the red zone so we open up the second quarter now. Darren Hall in the shotgun with Pickett. First play of the second quarter. It's a handoff to Hall. Looked like a bit of a read option. Hall is able to kind of weave his way through the holes and into the end zone. Panthers touchdown. That's Darren Hall, the second rushing touchdown of the game for the Panthers. And they take a two-touchdown advantage here to open the second quarter. It's Andrew Ford in kind of the pistol look here. Hands off. It's Marquise Young. Fights his way forward. He's knocked down by Philippi Motley, redshirt junior cornerback for the Panthers, who had a fantastic offseason. Uh, it was expected that Kaiser Artist Scott would take over that nickel uh, corner role. But Motley did so well that he's won the nickel corner job. And Artis Scott, he's still going to play a ton. He's that dime corner for the Panthers. He plays in quarter sets, three, two, sixes. So he does get a lot of play time still for the Panthers. There's no doubt about that. But there he is. It's Andrew Ford. He's chased down by Paris Ford. That was Kaiser Artis Scott, who we just talked about, dragged him down from behind after a big 20-plus yard run. And UMass is into Panther territory. Great tackle there. Marquise Young picks up about four before he's brought down by Dwayne Hendricks on the tackle there. It's Young again up the middle. Gets about three yards before he's brought down, setting up third and three. And it's that hurry-up offense for UMass. They're trying to catch the Panthers off guard, tire out that Panthers front seven because you're going to see a lot of this read option type stuff. Great tackle there. I believe that was Motley. Comes from behind on Ford. Brings him down. There's a holding call against UMass, and the Panthers are going to choose to decline it, setting up fourth and two from the 23-yard line, knowing that they've got the stop. But UMass decides to go for it, so that could be a costly decision for the Panthers. It's Ford here. Read option. Ford on Ford as Paris Ford slices and dices into the backfield, takes down the quarterback, and that is a turnover on downs. The sophomore safety 
coming up and making a huge stop. And Pat Narduzzi is fired up. Big stop for the Panthers' defense. And they're going to take the ball over on downs at their own 24-yard line. Pickett hands it off. That's Paul Lease, the freshman receiver out of Jersey City, takes the ball on kind of a jet sweep type play that reminiscent of Quadri Henderson. Uh, Panthers still have that wrinkle in their offense. You, you know, they've kind of been phasing out. They're not using it a ton, but they do have plenty of receivers with speed and skill to make that work if they need to do so. And it's another freshman making an impact here. That is Antonio Greer with a nine-yard catch and run right there. Following the play, personal foul face mask. That's going to move the ball another 15 yards. So a couple of freshmen making impacts here in the first half. Antonio Greer, of course, won the starting tight end job out of camp, replacing Chris Clark, who had to step away from the team and is not expected to return. Pickett rolls out, finds his man. That's Maurice French. Another 20-yard pitch and run uh, from Kenny Pickett. He rolled out to his right and makes a great throw. He's got that ability to make those long throws downfield. He's got the arm strength and and that's a fantastic find. French now two catches for 40 yards. And this is Olison now. Can he go the distance? He's brought down at the 7. 24-yard sprint from Quadri Olison. Picks up a ton of yardage. And the Panthers are in business now. Down to the UMass. Eight yard line. Pick it now. Got a screen and he's intercepted. That's Mangrum jumps the route. He was looking for Aaron Matthews. Had blockers set up, but Pickett just didn't put enough on. He lofts it up there. Mangrum jumps the route and Pickett's actually the man to get back and push Brandon Mangrum out of bounds. But UMass take plays take away and they get great field position to the Panthers 41 yard line. The question remains can they make them pay? There's Andrew Ford on the rollout. Finds Reynolds who's brought down by Philippi Motley. Good tackle by the Panthers corner and it's going to set up second and five. Ford in the shotgun. Option there. Sean Wolfgang with a great job. Wolfgang went right into the backfield took down Ford and Celine Brightwell finished him off so it's third and seven now for the Minutemen. Ford back in the shotgun time to pass he takes a hit but he finds his receiver that's Alfred Adarkwa 20 yard grab does a great job getting his feet down and it's first and 10 for UMass now Wolfgang swing and miss Young fights off Dennis Briggs the redshirt senior safety his first year as a starter now that Jordan Whitehead's gone to the NFL Unable to make the stop there. First and 10 for UMass on the 7-yard line. Ford hands off. That's Young, and he is stuffed in the backfield. 3-yard loss. Sean Wolfgang, the sophomore defensive end, won the starting job now opposite Dwayne Hendricks, and that's a great tackle setting up second and goal. Young now on the little... Uh, kind of sweep outside. He's unable to do much with it. That's Dwayne Hendricks bringing him down. And it's third and goal from the 10-yard line now. Shotgun set. Ford hands it off. That's Young. Nice little counter play and he waltzes into the end zone. Marquise Young with the touchdown and UMass is able to half the Panther advantage. 14 to 7 and we've got ourselves a bit of a ball game now. Pick it under center. Tight bunch to the right hand side. Plenty of time. He finds Rafael Arujo Lopes. Nice little catch and run for 14 yards. Panthers moving the chains. First down for Arujo Lopes. Rebounds after that drop on the opening drive. Pickett's going to hand off. That's Quadri Olson goes up the middle. He gets about three, and he's brought down, and Olison is down. He's going to have to be helped off the field. Comes off under his own power, but slowly, and he'll be evaluated, and we'll see what his status is for the remainder of the game. Pickett now dropping back to pass. Forced to roll out. He looks, takes his time, finds Maurice French across the middle again. Another, that's three 20-yard receptions for Maurice French. Pickett took a hit, but that's what he can do. Fantastic throw he buys himself a little bit of time with his legs but that's the big difference with Pickett who throws the ball away here on first and ten between Pickett and Ben DiNucci was DiNucci a lot of the times when he would roll out last season he just wouldn't look downfield. He wouldn't look for an open receiver as Arujo Lopes picks up 13 yards and another Panthers first down. He wouldn't find a receiver downfield. He would just run, tuck it, stick his head down. And Pickett has shown the ability to not do that all the time. He does do it on occasion. He'll get plenty of scrambles. There's no doubt about that. Especially later in the season, we'll have to see how he does against tougher competition. You, you, know, you hate to discount UMass, but this is a game that you would hope Pickett plays very well in. And he finds Darren Hall. Lovely touch pass 
from Pickett. Nice spin from Hall, and it's going to set up first and goal for the Panthers. Great throw from Kenny Pickett, but he's shown a great uh, ability to roll out if he needs to, but still set his feet and make a good throw. Pickett here in the shotgun on first and goal. Over the middle, and that's Arujo Lopes, his third catch on this drive. Pickett's now 11 of 15, and you want to talk about rebounding from a miscue. Kenny Pickett, interception on the last drive, led to a UMass touchdown. He marches the Panthers right down the field, and they score to take a 21-7 lead. But Marquise Young with a big game gets UMass out to near midfield as they look to counter here before halftime. Young, oh, that's Paris Ford taking a terrible route at the uh, ball carrier. Completely swings and misses. Marquise Young picks up 25, and they're down to the Pitt Panthers 26-yard line. Ford finds his man. That is Isabella. Plenty of time. He's dragged down eventually at the 7-yard line, Andy Isabella, and it's first and goal for the Minutemen now. Ford here hands it off. No, he's going to keep it himself. A read option, and he's into the end zone. Andrew Ford with the touchdown, and just like that, UMass marches down the field in what felt like a matter of seconds, and they've brought things back to just a one-possession game. 21-14 Panthers. They'll get the ball with two minutes to play here. It's a design rollout for Pickett. He finds George Aston, the fullback. He's going to pick up eight. And can the Panthers engineer a two-minute drill and go into halftime with a two-possession lead, especially knowing that UMass is going to get the ball in the second half. That's Darren Hall picks up five, and we'll, you know, Olison, the word is he's gone to the locker room. He won't come back this half. He'll have to be re-evaluated uh, for the remainder of the game to determine if he will come back. And I would assume that probably will depend on how things are going for the Panthers, uh, especially with a big game against Penn State coming up next week. Pickett's going to roll out less than a minute to play here, and he does scramble that time. He had a receiver, and this is what you have to say. Young quarterback chooses to run it. He gets the first down, so no problems there, but... Just had to scramble and get away from the pressure. He does it again here. It's Pickett. He's got a ton of room going forward. Big run for Kenny Pickett. Picks up 18 on the scramble. And the Panthers are into UMass territory at the 33-yard line with just under a minute to play here in the first half. It's Paul Lease on the jet sweep. He gets about a yard maybe, at least back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 now for the Panthers. Pickett in kind of a pistol look here. Drops back. Plenty of time. Throws out wide. Nearly intercepted. He was just not on the same page with Paul Leese there. And thankfully, the UMass uh, safety was not able to pull the ball in inbounds. Pick it. Five wide set now. Matthews in motion. Drops back. Looks to pass. He's hit. He's sacked. He's taken down in the backfield. And we are going to go into halftime with your Pitt Panthers leading 21-14. to 14. And so the real story, of course, is UMass hanging around. That read option offense that they're using right now has really been dangerous and done wonders against the Panthers. That hurry-up kind of read option, it tires out the Panthers' defenders, and it's allowed both Andrew Ford, the quarterback, and Marquise Young, the halfback, time and ability in order to create big plays and keep UMass in the game. So that's what the Panthers are going to need to do. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders. They just need to get into the end zone a couple more times. And if they can shut down that UMass rushing attack, the Panthers should be able to come out of this with a comfortable victory. So we'll see you for the second half on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So we welcome you back to Heinz Field for the third quarter. UMass taking over with the ball after a touchback from their own 25-yard line. Looking to level things up here against your Pitt Panthers. Andrew Ford opens up with a read option here. Picks up about three on the quarterback keeper. Second and seven now. In the shotgun with Young to his right. Ford's back to pass this time. Looks to his left. Finds his receiver. That's Travis Reynolds. But just a single yard. Setting up third and six now. Ford in the shotgun again. He's back to pass. Similar look. He finds Reynolds yet again. One yard yet again. And the Panthers force an early three and out from the Minutemen. And we'll take 
take over on their own 33-yard line. It's Pickett, hands the ball off to Darren Hall, and the word is coming out of the Panthers locker room that Quadri Olison will not return an upper body injury that will hold him out for the remainder of this game as a precaution, but he should be okay to return and to play against Penn State next week. That, but he will be held out of the remainder of this match for precautionary reasons. Pickett's got Paris Ford, you can see, is kind of a sidecar to the right there, and Ford does take the handoff. He fights his way forward for about two yards, getting in on both sides of the ball, a Jordan Whitehead-esque utilization of Paris Ford. Of course, you remember Jordan Whitehead playing both sides of the ball for the Panthers last year. Paris Ford getting an opportunity to do so because the Panthers know how dangerous he is with the ball, and there's another dangerous player, freshman C.J. London with his first career carry. He picks up 10 yards. You'd expect to see a good amount of him the remainder of this game kind of mixing in with Darren Hall to see what the freshman is able to do. And he's looked very solid on his first two carries here. He gets outside, picks up seven, and that's a first down for the Panthers nearing the red zone on the 24-yard line of UMass. London takes his third consecutive handoff from Kenny Pickett. He fights off one tackle, is able to get about three, and it's going to be second and seven. Uh, Pickett under center with London behind him. He's going to send Aaron Matthews. Uh, off to the right-hand side, French to the left. Matthews goes in motion. He does catch the ball over the middle. That's a 12-yard catch and run from the junior Aaron Matthews. The Panthers are at first and goal inside the 10. Pickett in the shotgun. He's got three receivers to his left, but he's going to look right. He's got London there, takes the screen. Can he get in? He's pushed out just at the one-yard line, C.J. London. And so the Panthers will have second and goal from the one. Pickett with the offset eye behind him, tight end to his right, two to receivers to the left. C.J. London with the handoff in the Freshman running back is into the end zone. His first career touchdown. He's going to want to save a hold on that ball as the Panthers take a two-touchdown lead. C.J. London with a great drive, four carries and a reception, and he gets the touchdown as the Panthers take the lead. Ford on the read option now. He doesn't pitch it. He's brought down. That's Celine Brightwell and Dennis Briggs joining together on the tackle. Ford back to pass, second and nine. Now, finds his receiver. That's a great throw as he's got Sadiq Palmer for 19 yards on the corner route there. And it's going to be a first down at the 45 of UMass. Ford on the handoff now. It's Marquise Young. Finds a hole. Dennis Briggs is steamrolled. Dwayne Hendricks forced to come from behind and make the tackle after Young picks up 15 and gets the Minutemen into Panthers territory. Ford now hands it off. That's Young. He's gang tackled in the backfield. Dwayne Hendricks and Sean Wolfgang joining up to make the tackle and force second and 11 now for UMass. It's another handoff. It's Marquise Young. He runs into his own lineman and then Sean Idowu is able to break through and bring him down down in the backfield, setting up third and very long. Ford now from the shotgun. Time, looks to pass, nearly intercepted. That's Dane Jackson getting his hand on the ball, and UMass is going to be forced to punt, and they've really struggled to get anything going here in the second half. Finally got a couple first downs, but the Panthers shut them down, and Pitt has been moving the ball fantastically. 22 first downs. You can see the yardage totals right now. Kenny Pickett looking to lead another drive here after the touchback on the ensuing kick uh, punt, and Darren Hall is going to take the ball for four yards, setting up second and six from the 24. Pickett in the ace formation with Bunch to his right. And he's going to roll out looking for those receivers. Finds his man. That is Trey Tipton who squares off a uh, fights off a tackler before he's squared up and brought down after a 12-yard gain. First and 10 for the Panthers from the 37-yard line. It's Pickett holding onto the ball on a read option. He dives forward. He's worried about contact there, I think. Didn't want to take a hit, so smartly gets down after picking up six. George Aston goes in motion as they hand the ball off to C.J. London, but he's going to be brought down for no gain, and it's going to be third and four for the Panthers. Pickett comes out in the shotgun with Darren Hall to his right, and he is going to hand the ball off to Darren Hall, who's able to just kind of knife his way through uh, a good crevice in the offensive line, picks up eight and gives the Panthers the first down. Pickett in kind of a, a weird wildcat type formation here. Paris Ford comes on the jet sweep. He takes the handoff, fights his way forward for about four. He did have a good hole if he was able to cut it up field, but he's unable to break the big one.
on there. Second, six. Freshman tight end Jay Balmer goes in motion. Two tight ends to the right, and they're able to block solidly for Darren Hall, who fights forward for 12 yards. Another good chunk gain for the Pitt Panthers rushing attack, setting up first and 10. C.J. London checks in now for Hall. He's going to take the handoff and weave his way through the uh, holes there. Picks up 10 yards and another Panthers first down. So we're going to head into the third corner. The Panthers, with the only score, sends us into the fourth with your Pitt Panthers leading 28-14 to here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So we're back for the fourth quarter. Pickett under center, hands the ball off to C.J. London. The freshman had a very strong performance so far today. He's up to 38 yards on seven carries with a touchdown, and it's second four now for the Panthers. Pickett changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's in the shotgun, drops back, plenty of time to pass. Finds Aaron Matthews on the right-hand side for a great pass. He just beats the zone there. Matthews got off of the press and was able to be found by Pickett before the safety could converge on him. So first and 10 now. Pickett, design play as he rolls out to his left. Waits and waits and waits. Draws the linebacker. Finds Arujo Lopes. He can't get in the... He actually hit the pylon, but he's not able to get into the end zone. But Kenny Pickett is able to do so on the next play. Pickett scrambles in and he's going to celebrate that touchdown. Take a little bit of a breather as Pickett was all over the place on that drive. Finds the end zone and the Panthers are starting to finally pull away. Dennis Briggs unloads on a dark wall there. Great hit, breaks up the play, setting up second and 10. UMass comes out in a five wide set, Ford's back to pass. Plenty of time. He's hit and he's brought down, but he does just get the ball away. That was Keyshawn Camp, the defensive tackle who brought down Ford, but it's ruled an incomplete pass and it's going to be third and 10. Ford back to pass one more time. Looking, 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 overthrows his receiver. And it's going to be another punt for the Minutemen. And the Panthers will start over with fantastic field position from midfield. Pickett's going to hand the ball off to C.J. London. And the field position battle is going to go backwards just a bit. Blown up in the backfield. And it's going to be second and 13 for the Panthers. Five wide set, though, with French going in motion. Pickett settling out to his right. Finds Trey Tipton on the underneath route. Good check down to number five. Tipton picks up nine, setting up third and three. It's going to be a handoff. It's going to be the fullback, George Aston, who gets to about the 42. It's not going to be enough for the first down, and the Panthers will be forced to punt. We don't normally show you punts here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network, but it's going to be Eric Fox, the freshman punter, his first career punt. He actually lays it in there very nicely. Kaiser Artis Scott should have downed that at about the four-yard line. He wasn't able to catch it, though, and so UMass will take over after a touchback at the 20-yard line. Marquise Young, Kaiser Scott's unable to bring him down, but Paris Ford lays the boom, and it's going to be second and three now. Pistol formation as Ford's back to pass. Plenty of time. Looks wide. It's Dane Jackson. He's able to bring this one in. He deflected, nearly intercepted one earlier in the game, but he brings this one in, his first interception of the season for the junior corner, and Jackson turns the ball over and plays takeaway for the Panthers, who have first and 10 from about the 45. It's Ford. Nice little toss. He's got some room. He just can't turn on the afterburners there, and he's only able to turn it into a positive gain, but a short four-yard gain for the Panthers. London, though, big carry for the freshman. He gets through the middle for 11 yards, and a Panthers first down. London has been fantastic. He's been a workhorse for the Panthers here in the second half. Darren Hall checks in, though, the senior. He finds a way to jump forward, picks up about five. Solid running for the Panthers. The one thing you'll say about this Panthers offensive line, they don't typically get beat for any kind of big negative carries. There's no doubt about that. Pickett, read option. He you know, rushes forward for about 15 yards. I was at a loss for words there as Pickett nearly found the end zone, setting up first and goal at the 8-yard line. Pickett rolls out to his right, settles down, looking, 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 gets away from his man, could run it, but instead he throws it across the body. Dangerous throw from Pickett. Sharon Singh deflects it away, and it's going to be second and goal for the Panthers. Pickett now looks, finds his man. That's a Rujo Lowe who brings it in at the two-yard line, seven-yard grab, but it's going to be third and goal for the Panthers. Now, Pickett in kind of a pistol look here uh, with Paul Lease to the right in a wingback type set, and it's going to be a shovel. It is Paul Lease, and he's into the end zone. The freshman brings in the shovel pass, a little bit of trickeration from the Panthers. 
Pickett with his second touchdown pass of the day. And it's 42 to 14 Panthers with just under three minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Marquise Young goes nowhere on the screen. Brought down, setting up second and 12 for the Minutemen. That's Ford. Little read option look. Ronnie Baker's not able to bring down Ford. He gets through him some great blocks. Idobu's going to have to give chase. Could he get to the end zone? He's dragged down by the senior linebacker at the 25-yard line, but that's a 52-yard gain for the Minutemen quarterback. And it, you know, if nothing else, some consolation time play as Ford does very well to get forward again. That's 14 yards. Elijah Zeiss forced to bring him down and save the touchdown. So first and 10 for UMass here from the 12. Ford hands it off this time to Marquise Young, and maybe he should have kept him and kept it himself. Amir Watts brings him down in the backfield, second and 11. Shotgun set for UMass here. It's going to be a handoff. It's going to be Lindsey who comes forward. He's brought down. That's Dennis Briggs stepping up and making the tackle as the safety brings him down third and five. They put Robinson in motion. Ford hands it off. It's Lindsey again, and Motley comes around the edge and stuffs him in the backfield. Fourth and eight. UMass going to go for it. They want some. They have pride. They want to put the ball into the end zone here, and so fourth and eight. Ford's back to pass. Keyshawn can't bull rushing his way into the backfield and bringing down the quarterback look at him he pushed back three linemen or two linemen and the running back before steamrolling over the top of Andrew Ford that's going to be a turnover on downs and that should do it Pat Narduzzi congratulates his defense on a fantastic performance a couple big runs on that last drive but overall a very strong showing from a Pitt Panthers much maligned defense, a defense that had struggled at times last season. This is a very promising performance, especially heading into a, a matchup against an opponent that's been putting up about 50 points a game this season in Penn State next week. But the kneel down goes forward. Kenny Pickett with a fantastic first career start, 21-27, 234 yards, ran for 71 yards as well, two touchdowns. Uh, Three touchdowns in the game for him. One rushing, two passing. Found Arujo Lopes and Paul Lease in the end zone. Did have one interception, unfortunately, but he bounced back to have a fantastic performance. And the Panthers put on a strong showing. The second half is where they really came into their own. The defense stepped up a number of great stops. Pickett had a very strong performance. Three different running backs had over 50 yards. Pickett himself had 70 yards, and it's a great building block performance for the Panthers as they get their first true test when the Penn State Nittany Lions come to town. We'll see you for that matchup. Thank you for watching. Hail to Pitt. Take care. This is Moose on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Take care. Bye-bye.